Hello, I'm Debbie and I'm here today with my August 2024 cross stitch update. Yet again, towards the end of the month, the next month, but I'm here and we'll get it done quickly. It shouldn't, shouldn't take long. I worked on seven projects this month. Um, there was a new start, there were three finishes and I managed 23,801 stitches for the month. I had my new start on the 1st of August and I actually had a finish on the 31st of August. Just snuck it in there which um, just worked out with the timing. Thank you to all my subscribers. Um, thank you for dropping in and, and going through the projects with me and anyone watching randomly I hope you find a project that you might be interested in following along. We're going to start with the finishes. The first finish was Guide's Critters. There's the close. It is a little unusual pattern. I love that whoopy little squirrel there. Guide's Critters and it's from the work basket and it is for memory a 1977 pattern. Yes, 1997 pattern. Um, and I've got feelers out with some friends that have got old stock in their collection because I really want to do its partner, which is called the Trellis, and it has butterflies and flowers. So hopefully, or we'll see how we go with that. Anyway, there is my finish. Look at the screw. Oh, get it straight. And their sheep and bunnies. Well, actually, I don't know, might be a dog. <laughs> There's a peacock and all the squirrels and birds. I loved it from the minute I saw it. I don't know why it took me so long, but when my brain finally said, That's it, I'm getting it out, um, it had to be done. And quite honestly, it was very quick to do. It didn't take long at all. This was done on 40 count harvest from Daisy, whoopsie Daisy fabrics from Daisy chain. I started it on the 1st of June 24 and finished it on the 16th of August 24. I have a before and after. And that is it. Next, next is, next finish was the Deadly Aquarium sale. I'm sure many of you have seen this on um, Instagram, Facebook. It's, it's a sale where part one is the frame. I should have joined it then. For some reason I waited till about part four or five. I think that was part of it, exhibit one. And you just got most Fridays, every now and then we had a week off um, to play catch up. But now I haven't fully done these properly, but this is where it's going. This is my finish. This was done on 40 count silver springs from Carla cascade fabrics their new website is below gorgeous gorgeous designing look at that crocodile isn't he just magnificent my son and um, future daughter-in-law found the a matching pair of these frames so that is Deadly Aquarium, started on the 14th of June 24 and finished on the 31st of August 24 on 40 Count Silver Springs. And it's been paired up with, I'll show you the, oh, and both these patterns from Lola Crow you can get as a complete pattern now. Greenhouse of Oddity Sale, Sal, that was last year's. So these two go together. I'm throwing things around here. 
And this one is the one I have put into the second frame. Whoa, sorry. I'll try and keep still while I get this paperwork off the ground. Sorry. Oh, there we go. So they're going to be together. I was, when I was, um, my son was in town and I put them just roughly in, like these are just roughly in, I'm afraid they're not even ironed, but these were sitting there and I went and got the frames and I first of all thought the frames were going to be too big, but they worked out perfectly. I was just sitting there looking at them. You could actually rattle off all the animals in the, um, I'll tell you the story while I'm showing you the before and after. Um, rattling off all the fish and all the bits and pieces in it. And then he said to me, which made me laugh, was, um, does anyone claim those? <laughs> I said, no. <laughs> and he said, oh, I really like those. So once I get my act together and frame them properly, those two will be going to their house to be hung up. Um, the fabric on Oddities, if anyone's interested, because it won't be down below, uh, was called Purely Primitive and it was a 38 count um, linen from Silk Weavers. So you had the green, I didn't notice it, but it almost looks like a green tinge for the garden and the blue tinge for the um, aquarium. And I'm really, really interested in seeing what's coming next year. And I should just trust the frame. The frame is the one that usually does it for me. So those two will be finished shortly, along with one. And I think I've got it down here, which is long overdue to be finished properly. This was also done for my, with my, for my son. It's got to be finished off. Um, I'll get the three of those done and drop them off finally. Finish number three was the free me mask from the one of the Australian Mirabiria retreats in New South Wales. Pretty sure it was in New South Wales near the Central Coast. I chose to do mine on purple. I can't say I am a hundred percent pleased with it, but. It does look awfully pretty. And again, that fabric's not showing up. I don't know where that glare is. I don't know where the glare is coming from. I'm getting a bit of glare in that top corner. I'll try and drop it down. So many beads, so many beads, but it's just so pretty. Well, that's a bit better. Still nowhere near the, still nowhere near the actual colour. But it looks it looks it looks better on the screen than in person because the purple because that's sort of got a blue tinge to it the purple fabric and the light purple I don't think go together but tonally on that it's not looking too bad but wait till you see the photo because the photo does show you the the fabric I started that on the 29th of December 2023 for a challenge with the Down Under Divas and finished it on the 16th of August 2024. Oh, I don't know where to put them. Before and after. Oh. oh, I didn't do a before and after. That would be too clever. Before and after, see what I mean? The fabric is really, really purple. It's a very bright purple. But it does glitter and it does look nice. And I just want to try and get a nice sort of funky looking black frame for it. Which would be lovely. So those were my finishes. My start was from Our Forest Designs. And that is... The Raven Sampler. I really, really like that one. I have had this fabric um, for quite some time. 
This is called Nevermore from Fancy Fabric down in Tassie. If you Google Fancy Fabric Tasmania, it will come up. I was going to do the Nevermore, I think it was, I think it's a Rosewood Manor on it. But when I saw this one, I thought it'd go really, really nice. And this blue thread is 9.30 because I bought two boxes of those for Australian flag. And you'll see them in, I'm not going to need um, two full boxes of them. And I thought it just set it, it was just nice and muted on the on this fabric and I just love it. I think it's turning out really nice. And if I bring back the pattern, that big bird in the center, the big raven, I think I'm gonna have that black so he just really jumps out. I made that decision too late to have all the birds black, but it'll survive, it'll survive. Okay, so that's my, oh, I can give you a closer look of that one. The fabric's just beautiful. It really, really looks lovely. And I'm looking forward to getting some more work done on that one. That one was started on the 1st of August and it had quite a few days. Um, if I was on a stitching or I was going somewhere that I could get some stitching done and I didn't want to have to worry about fab uh, a whole heap of colours. I'd just take that one and work on it through the month. The whips. First one's the standard one. The target is to finish shelf number one. This is a stitch in time. Super size, max colours. Artwork by Amy Stewart. And the only hate I'll ever do. <laughs> I'm too old to start anymore. I've got to get this one finished and you will see when we get to the before and afters the before and afters pretty amazing you can see where the end of the page is I've done the top shelf to the end of the page as best I can there's the lady with her balloons and then there's three books there's a table in front of the books but basically it's three books wide this one I am doing one over one on 32 count full cross. And I'm just loving it. That is really quite intense before and after. Like I said, I nearly spent two weeks on it. I was just determined to get the 5,000 for August in, make up the difference that I missed in July. And I think... I'm going to try for 5,000. I've only got a week to go this month, so I may not get it. Um, but I think if I do 5,000 a month, I'll have it well and truly done before December. Going to give it a good college try. Um, sorry about skipping back and forwards. I just don't know if I did. Oh, I did, okay. But go back. I forgot what I did the pictures last night. So that is the last bit I've got to do to finish the shelf. Um, you can see I have done a bit of the, the table because as I finish the colours, if it did go into the next page, I did go across to the next page and I tried to get as much as the brown shelf. And I think I've got most of the brown shelf done on that last bit to take you to the edge. So finish in sight finish inside next we have <laughs> next we have the unusual problem this is at the Met by Mirabilia Laura Corbett this was a gift from Pennington Terrace she is currently in America she went to a Mirabilia retreat and she had a chat to Nora and had it signed for me which was an absolute lovely and delightful surprise now I started her on this is Stella from picture this plus 32 count 
and I started that on the 21st of January this year. I then ummed and ahed about the colours and I mentioned to my mother, now look again, there is some green in that shawl or the, the panel down her dress. I thought it might look nice on a green. Oh yes, I'd like it on the green. So now, can't help yourself. I'm also doing her on green. And because I thought I'd never go back to the blue, I decided to do them concurrently. Now, they are both 32 count. The green looks slightly bigger. That's because that is Dazzle from Silk Weavers. But that is 32 count Wexwood Linen. Now, I don't know if I can show you close enough. Wexwood Linen is an even weave linen. Both threads are the same all the way along. So it looks a little bit bigger, but they are both exactly, I know because of Pat and Geeper, I can't search for colours, of course, but I can mark them off. Um, but they are both at the same stage and there is still 800 stitches of black on each one to go. I'm not sure I'm going to keep on black. I, I usually try to do the bottoms because the bottoms of the mirror periods usually have the most work on them. But this one, with the, with the framework, but again, the majority of the framework is beads. And I have already purchased the second lot of all those beads to make sure that when it came to beading, I didn't get frustrated with one being finished and one not. So this will be for me. This will be for me. This will be for my mum. And now I finally made that decision. I just need to get some work done. So before and after on the blue. The darker blue is the closer colour, excuse me. <coughs> Before and after on the green. And then marrying them up to the original. So you can still see I've got all her bodice and her hair. And there's another 800 black stitches in that pattern yet. But she is lovely and I'm enjoying it. Okay, second last whip. I told you it won't go long tonight. And it's not as late. It's only 20 past 11, not bad for me. This is Quaker Sampler Flag version 1 from Viv Stitches on... Etsy, very dangerous <laughs> Etsy shop to go to. I've got a lot, a lot of their patterns. This is where it is up to. Now, I had a meet-up with um, some ladies in Medigal. We went and had lunch. And Gail from Wombat Hollow Crafts was there. And she is also doing, of course, the Australian flag. She's um, part of the sow. So I purposely went down to bring it to the very bottom for me. And on the side, I've only got the... Oh, look at that. I've actually got it right. I've got that half. I've got... I'll finish that diamond to bring it out to here. So that is how big my flag will be. There is a lot of material around the flag and I intend to make it a pillow. All the red or the white is done. I think I am going to finish all the outlines and then I can just sit there and go block by block to get it done. Would be nice to have it done by Australia Day next year, which is the 28th of January, so 26th of January. Started that on the 24th of October 2023. It is on 22 count hard anger fabric, which means you have to be careful or you lose your stitches because it is like Ada, but the four are not hard together. They're separate 
two threads, two threads. So you have to be a bit more careful. Now on these photos, I have got before and after. And like I said, basically sort of, you know, two half rows and um, to the left and the down levels. This is against the finish project. Now the next one is Gail bought her 28 count flag. They are both sitting there at the same orientation. Gail has finished from top to bottom on the row. Mine's gone from top and I've, I made sure I went down to the bottom because I knew where she was up to to make sure we could um, do the comparison on it and look at the difference between a 28 count and a 22 count. You don't like both of us were quite flabbergasted when we saw it. Um, Gail's is going to be fantastic, but it's going to be a hell of a lot bigger than my fellow. So um, Gail took that photo and sent me a copy so we could just sort of see the difference. Um, you wouldn't think that 22 count and 28 count would be, mm, well, 22 count is a little bit smaller than 40 count. Yes. Technically, when it comes to counting the stitches. But yeah, big, big difference, big difference. And it was lovely to see the two of them sitting there side by side. We were both um, very impressed. I am going to see if I can quickly pause because I haven't brought one of my fabric projects in. Won't be a moment. Okay, I don't know if that stopped or not. I'll watch you back and sort it out. The one I forgot to bring was Little Sheep Virtues from Little House Needleworks. I'm not doing the same order as they are presented here. I am doing them three, three down, three across, four down. This is where I am up to. I've done friendship, love and simplicity. Every time I pick it up, I can't remember <laughs> Not that I'm using one or two threads, but this is being done on 32 count vintage mocha from Zweigart. 28 count because I will be using the buttons and I was too worried about dropping the size of the fabric and the buttons not fitting before and after. I only had, I had love finished and only had a, about half a friendship done. So I finished friendship and I had enough time to do simplicity. And like I said, it'll be three across, four down, exactly like their, their finish. But um, I have got a particular order, but I will be making sure I don't have, I think every frame is slightly different, but I'll make sure that they don't sort of interfere with each other and the last week for the month was I went back to the Haunted Library Sal this is the one before the other two again should have started when I saw the um, framework but the the librarian ghost over here did it for me it's looking a bit looking a bit muted that that printout because I've had it for so long but I have now whoops get some details I have now finished everything above well on top of the stairs everything is done now let me grab my phone while I have it there that typewriter using blood as ink I did save this I know I saved it it um, was an addition that another stitcher used her name was Margaret Spear and she put the chart of that little typewriter 
um, I'm not I'm not scared of um, clowns, but I'm you know I don't actually particularly in like them either. And it was the a clown from I think it, which spooked me out somewhat. <laughs> but this is Lola Crow Designs Haunted Library. Um, I think it was in 2022 Sal. I started on the 8th of October. It's on 40 count Whit Sunday for number 12 Stitch Co. And it was a sow with Animal Instinct, Kelly and Joe from Belushi Stitches. And of course, I was I was leading the charge, but they're both finished now. <laughs> so I'm bringing up the rear. So I've only got the bottom um, part to go. I thought I had percentages of what I had left to do, but obviously I didn't write it on the back of the sheet. So, please have before and afters. Oh yes, before and after. Before and after. So you can see everything above the stairs is done. And Again, if I had the thread on my needle, I finished stuff down the bottom. So I don't, I think that's about 60% done. So it shouldn't take too long. And compared to the original, I've still got books. Um, I've still got a bit to do. So there is still a bit to do, but it shouldn't take long because there are lots of blocks. And once you pick a colour, you can get, you know, just go from one side to the other doing it and it gets finished easily. So those are my whips and starts for the month. Um, I have got, I've got a few minor purchases. I'm finally up to, oh well, S's. In the week's dye works I had no idea just how many colors they've got in their range I think I'm on the third three inch ring to keep them on but this goes from San Santorini to seagull so we're getting there but it's nice that you know if I, if I pick up a color a pattern I have been lucky enough to just be able to come in and um, see the see the colors that they want you to use and decide whether I use that or, or pick another one but it's either way I did get another Mirabilia from Stash Unload this is Sleeping Princess by Norma, Nora Corbett MD123 again another one I've always liked mainly all the mattresses they're all just so pretty when you see them stitched up Also from Stash Unload, and I haven't taken out, and I hope it's not too glary. I showed you that, um, I've got the cat on the shoe that goes with this one. And someone was selling the full kit complete with the tassel for the handbag on Stash Unload. And I grabbed it to go with the um, cat on the shoe. So I can have the two pillows sitting together. Same cat same um, leopard print so I had to grab that one and then I was lucky well not lucky well, I am lucky that I've got them I got some fabric from I know I'm on a diet I'm trying really hard but um, damn it absolutely nothing like it is no it's going to show up going to show up nope this is called so disappointing but if you go to the website and the new website is listed below this is called plum blossom it is absolutely beautiful but it is a pinky mauve not the bluey mauve that's showing here i've closed the other one because of the the other one's called wisteria they're both 40 counts the wisteria again is showing more blue than what they are and even if I put the white I need white black and see if it will color bounce with the white and black oh no it's 
very disappointing. But go to her website because I know um, I know she's taken a lot of care to get the, the photos looking really good and showing you the what it looks like on the different counts. Um, I really love these two. Again, they are pinker than what they are showing there and I can't wait to use them. And I'll just have to make sure, I did watch a floss tuber a long time ago whose husband was a um, photographer and he said if you have white, black, white and grey, usually when you take a photo and then you can crop that part out, it usually stabilises the colour. I know I usually use a black and white mark marker um, to sit there and I, I haven't done it for a while but... They are very beautiful and she's got a lot of collections at the moment. It's well worth going and, and checking out. Um, a lot, most of her fabric now is ready dyed. It's there. So it's well worth going and checking it out. I don't think I've got anything else. Um, it's been an interesting month. We've had some terrific news. Um, We've had some not so terrific news and all's good. I will show the stats for the year. Um, wit wise, I was, I'm was i getting down there. I started with 30, but I've had 11 starts, but I've had 19 finishes. So I've currently got 22, or I should say, as of the end of August, I had 22 because I made another start. I had another start because I saw um, a lady working on a pattern and thought, you know, I've had that for ages and I've always wanted to do it. And so I couldn't help myself and had to get go started. But not to worry. Uh, so I will leave you all in peace. Thank you for putting up with me. Thank you for um, watching my not so organized video this month. Um, take care, look after yourselves, and I'll see you shortly. Thank you. Bye.